Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we're staying in Marazion for a short stay. <laughs> in this video we will show you the accommodation at Upper Deck, a luxury B&B, our evening meal and the pièce de résistance, our breakfast. Also, we'll take you up to the mount and show you one or two things you could do if you were to stay in Mount Zion. We were invited to stay at the Upper Deck Luxury B&B. The Upper Deck is a converted attic space. It offers a very comfortable, generous, airy, spacious room with ensuite bathroom. Let's take a look around. Here I am in the Upper Deck, a luxury B&B in Marazion. Upper Deck is located in Britannia House with a beautiful sea view and an ensuite bathroom. It's a glass shower door. So clean. You can barely see it. Immaculate. Presentation is beautiful. The attention to detail spot on. You've got everything that you could think of that you could need for a short stay. If you wanted to stay here and you wanted a twin room, there's one downstairs. Let me show you that one. So here is the twin room and it's in one of those clever beds that can either be set up as a double or a twin. So with the twin room you get your own lounge on the same floor in here. That's the telly. <laughs> really looking forward to our night here. Beautifully done. So comfortable. Right, I'm moving in. Andrew, I'm surprised you haven't spotted those huge scones. Just seen them. They yeah. are looking fantastic. Aren't they? Look at these. Wow. <laughs> they look great. Right, where's the kettle? Blackberry jam. It's always jam first. <laughs> Cheers. Andrew? Yeah. Is that cream? <laughs> no, it's butter. <laughs> <laughs> you got a butter yeah. tea? I got jam first though. <laughs> I thought it was cream. That's hilarious. I put butter on. Great. <laughs> Lovely water butter. So what are you calling that, Andrew? <laughs> <laughs> Buttery cream tea. <laughs> You'd be butter off keeping that bit out, I think. Mean. <laughs> no idea. You want me to put that in here? That's right. Good. Can't take you anywhere. You won't be invited back. No. <laughs> <laughs> From the accommodation, we walked up through Mara's Iron. At the top, near the cemetery, you can pick up the southwest coast path. It takes you to Perinluth now. Views all the way of St Michael's Mount accompany you on this stretch of the southwest coast path and at the end a beautiful beach. Near the beach is a cabin that serves a delicious hot chocolate, perfect for an autumn walk.
And this is our cabinet of goodies. Let's take a look. <laughs> so with Upper Deck, breakfast is served in our room. Looking forward to that. Here we have a fridge. Let's have a look in the fridge. Oh, look at that. A couple of gin and tonics. <laughs> Milk, coffee, brilliant. Sugar, tea and muesli. Oh wow. And Paul did say that the toaster is here so that we can make our own hot toast in the morning so it doesn't get cold on its way upstairs. We have a breakfast menu. Oh yes please. And there's a request for us to list what we'd like in the morning. Okay. What do you want? Well just give them the whole sheet. Be fine. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got then? <laughs> what have we got on offer? Bacon, sausage, hogs pudding, free range eggs, mushrooms and cherry tomatoes oh, full english yes please yes and there's a vegetarian option as well um french toast with locally cured smoked bacon and maple syrup nice mm. yeah what do you want um full english for me full english yes i just can't take my eyes off this sea view it's meant to be a bit of a storm coming in later lots of rain and wind that's perfect out of season looking at a storm through a window like this all cozy what more could you want to the beach sarah <laughs> i don't think so no <laughs> okay out we go sarah how's your suntan going <laughs> i'm going rusty you are aren't you breezy evening, the storm, you can see it in the bay, the white horses, the sea's really choppy. A wild and stormy night. I wonder what it feels like out there in this sort of weather. We're going to go to the Godolphin now for some dinner. <laughs> I've gone for the Godolphin burger with some David Stowe cheese. Looking nice. What have you got, Sarah? Lamb cutlets, potatoes, and beans, and all things nice. Enjoy. One word delicious. One word messy. <laughs> but. <It's> a, <laughs> very nice. I got the same. He did say it was gluten free. He did, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. it's gluten free, yeah. So it's raspberry and lemon cello. Cello. Semi free door. That's it. Yeah. It's part of my five a day. It's got strawberry in it. Mm. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Superb place for a meal. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant food. Beautiful food. Great atmosphere. Yeah. What? Service was excellent. Yeah. Well Thoroughly done. enjoyable Good evening. Food. Really nice. Yeah. <laughs> excellent. <laughs> Men and their toys. That's right, isn't it? Bit of Netflix, Amazon Prime, catch up. What do you fancy? <laughs> Might even have YouTube. <laughs> the 18. <laughs> I like the 18. <laughs> That's a throwback, isn't it? <laughs> hey, Mr. T. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, sea. 
Isn't that beautiful? Elton John and Charlie Puth. Aren't they the most wonderful company? Can you imagine a dinner around Elton John's house? Yeah, the door. Oh, look at this. Yeah. My goodness me. <laughs> oh wow. Hello, good, good morning, morning. Paul. Good morning. Ta da! Ah, oh, looks amazing. So, Thank some you. homemade compote, some freshly yeah. picked blackberries, some damsons from our tree, and some scrumped apples. <laughs> and it's some gluten free carrot cake porridge. Oh, wow! Got a special thing, and some homemade oh, bread as well. Fantastic! Here. Okay, that's it's amazing. So Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Decisions, Suddenly very decisions. hungry. Yes. <laughs> so that's damsons, is it? Yeah. So good. Really, really good. <laughs> Take it, it's quite dark, the um, blackberries, but it is beautiful. Mm. That's really unusual. And it is delicious, really yummy. Gosh. So you've got raisins, I can taste the raisins, and the carrots gives it texture. It's just lovely. Mm. You might have to get this recipe off her before we leave. <laughs> so second courses. I know. Good breakfast. I know. And look at it, isn't it wonderful? Looking good, isn't it? Oh, wow. Let me show you around my plate. <laughs> yeah, it's a tour of your plate. So three range, fried eggs. Eggs came from next door. Yeah. All the meat products from a local butcher's in St Just. Looking lovely, isn't it? I even got some Cornish hogs pudding. If you haven't had that before, give oh. that a go. It's fantastic. Looking handsome. Our luxury B&B stay in Marazine. We did have a little glance through the guest book, didn't we? At the comments that have been left by other okay. guests. And there was two things. One was a really warm welcome, that stood out. And the other was the food. And my goodness me, I do feel so spoiled. It's amazing. How are you doing over there? Good in for some uh, homemade jam. Yeah. sourdough bread. Yeah, isn't it looks it? lovely, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> nice. I feel like we're living like kings because we're up at the top, aren't we? I've got a bit of that ribbon. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and a beautiful sea view. <laughs> Gorgeous. Do you want to go home? No. <laughs> this is a book from 1951. Doesn't have a dust cover, unfortunately. It's called Cornish Harbours by Roland Ro Rodis or Rodis. He spent a holiday, a vacation, travelling around all of the Cornish harbours, and he wrote about it like a journal of his adventures. He went with two companions, one called Nina. It's about the most heavenly thing I've ever seen. Nina cried in delight. As we came down the hill into Marazine, and there before us lay the island set like a jewel in a silver sea. But I know that not all my mastery of the descriptive art could ever convey as much to me as did the spontaneous outburst of that pretty girl. I must not attempt to describe the island myself. To do so would reveal too patently my incapacity for that sort of thing. You must go when next in Cornwall on a pilgrimage to Marazine and see the mount for yourself. If you're not very imaginative, take a Nina with you to help you to full appreciation. If you're too imaginative, take her mother as well. <laughs> Even without such a stimulus, you would vote it the most romantic place. Here we go. We begin our ascent, which is steep up to the mount. Slow and steady is going to be my approach. I expect Andrew will overtake me at some point like the hair. I'm definitely the tortoise. Come on. <laughs> there he goes. That's good news, isn't it? What's that? The giant's well. <laughs> I didn't know he'd been poorly. <laughs> Did you find his heart? There is stone here. Uh, it's up there a little bit more. Oh, okay. You're going to run to that one now? Yeah. Work out for your heart, isn't it? Oh, crumbs. Is there somewhere? Where is it? Where is it? I can't see it. Unless he's had a heart transplant, you can't well, find it. Oh, his heart's giving up, climbing up this hill. 
There we go. It's a bit blowy. A reading of 30. Oh, okay. 30 mile an hour. Or knots. I don't know. No. Do you think there's a reading for when it blows out of hand? an unexpected visit. The Lord and Lady were out and so the servants asked her to wait in the blue room. She wasn't actually expected by the family so they were the home residents. Um, she was only staying like housekeeper. So she came and took tea here on the sofa. And the guide explained that Queen Victoria drank tea on the couch while Prince Albert played the organ in the chapel. This Wardlock book is a guidebook. It was 100 years old and it notes about Penzance, how Queen Victoria and Prince Consort in 1846 paid a visit. It occurred during one of the yachting cruises which the royal couple took in the early years of their married life. After visiting the Channel Islands and Falmouth, the yacht steamed into Mounts Bay and the party landed at St Michael's Mount, the little pier on the north side of which has a relic of the occasion in a brass foot, which is supposed to mark the spot where the Queen first stepped onto the mount. Tiny, tiny feet. Of course, by staying here, you'll miss the crowds because you can book early. So we've enjoyed a really short stay here in Mara Zion, but if you came to Cornwall yourself and you were staying for a little bit longer, some other places that you could visit which are nearby to here. Why don't you pay a visit to St Ives? St Ives is beautiful any time of the year. It's particularly nice out of season because it's a little bit quieter. You could also pay a trip to the Tin Coast, the stretch of coastline near Cape Cornwall and Batalic, and find for yourself the pulled up filming locations. No trip to Cornwall is complete without the must visit, which is Land's End. 
get your photograph taken under the famous signpost. So we had a short stay here at Upper Deck, Britannia House in Marazine. I have thoroughly enjoyed this. The breakfast this morning was exceptional. Alison goes out of her way to make sure that she sources products locally. The eggs came from next door here. Were they nice? They were handsome. <laughs> very, very nice, yeah. The accommodation is so comfortable, so luxurious. You, there is nothing you could want for. I have thoroughly enjoyed this. So, golden question, would you stay here again? Definitely stay here again. <laughs> yeah, yes, so it's nice and private. It's a beautiful place to enjoy Cornwall, in or out of season. And we must say a big thank you to Paul and Alison for hosting us and gifting us our stay. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. And if you do book this for yourself, let Paul and Alison know that you found it on Cornish Walking Trails. Check out their website. It's Upper Deck. B and B.co.uk